The universe could be expanding because it's swallowing other universes whole. Or math itself might be what makes reality reality, with every possible equation spinning off into its own universe. And cosmic inflation could have blown space into endless bubbles, each one with its own laws of physics. These are strange anomalies in physics that suggest other realities exist. We all know the universe is expanding. For a long time, the leading explanation has been something called dark energy, a mysterious force pushing space apart. It's a solid theory backed by observations, but no one has ever directly detected it. In a way, it's a placeholder for something we don't fully understand yet. But in late 2023, a team of scientists from the University of Copenhagen and the Tokyo Institute of Technology proposed a new idea. What if the universe isn't expanding because of a hidden energy, but because it's literally absorbing other universes? Imagine our universe as this huge growing blob. As it drifts through space, it bumps into smaller universes and swallows them. This process of merging and absorbing other universes would create that outward pressure that makes ours seem like it's just expanding. This could also give us a better, more accurate understanding of the Big Bang, when everything just rapidly inflated. Of course, of course, there's a ton we don't know about the Big Bang, mainly what caused it, and it's just a theory anyway, but according to this new idea, our universe may have merged with an older, bigger one which caused it to suddenly stretch out. The mathematical multiverse theory takes the idea of parallel worlds to an extreme. Instead of asking, what if there are other universes like ours, it asks, what if every possible mathematical structure exists and each one is a universe. This one is kind of a mind trip, but the idea is that math isn't just a language that we use to describe the universe. Math is the universe. Our entire reality, from atoms to galaxies, is just one solution out of infinite possible solutions to a mathematical system. That means every consistent mathematical framework, no matter how strange, has a universe attached to it. Some might look similar to ours, others could operate under completely alien rules. Now, what exactly do I mean by all this? Well, there could be a parallel world where gravity pushes instead of pulls. Time could run in loops instead of straight lines. Some universes might not have stable matter at all. This may sound strange, but what we're really saying here is that there's nothing particularly special about our version of math. We just happen to exist inside the one universe where things operate this way. As I mentioned before, we've thought for a long time that right after the Big Bang, the universe went through a burst of rapid inflation. Not a slow expansion, but an explosion that stretched space itself at an unimaginable speed. According to inflation theory, that process didn't happen evenly everywhere. Different regions expanded at different rates, creating bubbles of space-time. Each bubble can evolve with its own set of rules, its own matter, its own dimensions. That makes every bubble essentially a separate universe. Our universe, then, could just be one bubble among who knows how many others. Some bubbles may have expanded faster, some slower, and some may still be forming today. The inflation process doesn't end everywhere at once. It keeps happening in patches, so the multiverse could be infinite. In this model, other universes aren't far away in our space. They're sealed off, separated by expanding regions that we can never cross. The only possible evidence would be, you know, if bubbles collided. A collision might leave a scar, visible signature in the background radiation of our universe, which leads straight to the next anomaly. The Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, is the afterglow of the Big Bang. It's faint radiation spread across the sky. Scientists study it because it's like a baby photo of the universe. Normally, it should look random but smooth, except researchers have spotted some strange anomalies. In 2010, a team studying CMB data found some strange circular patterns. One interpretation of them was that these could be evidence of collisions, our universe bumping into another one. Then in 2015, Randir Chari at the European Space Agency took a closer look at the data, and he stripped away all the usual sources, like stars, dust, gas, what was left behind should have been close to nothing. Instead, though, he found areas that were up to 4,500 times brighter than they should have been. His conclusion was that these bright patches might be imprints left from another universe colliding with ours, kind of like a bruise. Not everyone agrees with this interpretation, of course, but the fact is there are strange patches in the CMB that don't line up neatly 
with our standard model of cosmology. The simulation theory flips the question of reality on its head. Instead of imagining other universes existing, you know, out in space, it suggests that we might be living inside a computer program. If an advanced civilization had the technology, they could simulate entire realities complete with conscious beings who don't realize they're in a simulation, i.e. us. Inside, it would look and feel just like a real universe. And if that's true, that all of this is just a very advanced simulation on some alien being's computer, and it's very likely there wouldn't just be one simulation. There could be countless others running at the same time, each with different parameters, like different settings in a game. One simulation might have slightly stronger gravity, another might tweak the speed of light. What makes this unsettling is that it's not pure science fiction. Philosophers and physicists have pointed out that if simulations are possible, the odds of us living in the one, you know, real universe are actually kind of slim. Are more likely that we're just inside one of the countless copies. Next up, let's talk about quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is one of the strangest concepts in physics. It's when two particles become linked in such a way that they behave like a single entity, no matter how far apart they are. If you measure one, its entangled partner instantly reacts. And this happens faster than the speed of light, which breaks our very simple understanding of how the universe works. In the case of quantum entanglement, information doesn't need to travel through space to have an effect. So what does this have to do with other realities though? Well, one way to think about entanglement is to consider that before we measure a particle, it doesn't have a single fixed state, it has a set of possibilities. When we force a measurement, basically one possibility becomes the reality that we see, that we observe. Some physicists take that idea a step further. Every possible outcome actually happens, but in a different parallel universe. For example, particles have a property called spin, which is just a label for one of two states, spin up or spin down. So when you measure one particle and it becomes spin up, in our reality, another version of you in another universe measures the same particle and it becomes spin down. Entanglement then isn't just about two particles sending faster than light messages. It's a single event, the measurement causing the universe itself to split into different branches, each containing a different outcome. This doesn't prove that parallel universes exist, but it does show how some of the strangest things in quantum physics can be interpreted in a way that points to realities other than our own. String theory is the idea that the basic building blocks of the universe aren't tiny dots like particles, but like vibrating strings of energy. The way a string vibrates determines what kind of particle it shows up as, like how a guitar string can make different notes depending on how it's played. For string theory to work though, there have to be more dimensions than the three we see around us. These extra dimensions are thought to be curled up so tightly that we can't see them. And the way those hidden dimensions are folded or shaped actually changes the rules of physics. Scientists call these shapes calibi yau manifolds, but you can just think of them like different ways of folding origami. Each fold creates a different possible universe with its own set of physical laws. But put all those possibilities together, and you don't get one universe, you get a whole bunch of potential universes. So why do we live in this particular one? Well, the idea is that only some universes have the right conditions for life. We just happen to be in the one that works because if we weren't, we obviously wouldn't be here asking the question in the first place. And finally, we have the holographic multiverse. What in the hell is this? Well, back in the 70s, physicists realized something kind of cool. All the information about everything that falls into a black hole isn't stored inside it, but rather on its flat two-dimensional surface. And that caught them wondering, if that's true for a black hole, could it be true for the entire universe. This is what led to the holographic principle. The idea is that our entire three-dimensional universe with all its planets, the stars, galaxies, it might actually be a detailed projection of information from a flat 2D surface at the very edge of space. What we see and experience as reality is essentially a hologram, a kind of projection. Now, here's where the uh, multiverse angle shows up. If our universe is just one possible projection, then maybe there are other ways to project that same information. Imagine, you know, a single piece of paper with a drawing on it. You can shine a light through it in different ways to create different shadows or images. So maybe that single flat 2D layer of information at the edge of reality 
could be used to create an infinite number of different 3D projections. One of those projections is, of course, our universe with its specific laws of physics. Another projection could be a completely different universe with its own things going on. This is a pretty cool idea because it doesn't just guess that other universes exist. Instead, it's, it's tying the idea of a multiverse to a real physical principle. With all that said, though, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video. Thank you.